to the Scribblebots program. Um, today we're going to make a robot that draws. Okay, so your kit should include three markers, a motor that has um, some wires, and then a little on-off switch and a battery holder, some googly eyes, two batteries, a cork, electrical tape, and a paper clip. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the paper clip and the cork, and we're gonna open up the paper clip so that we have just a little metal rod. And then you're gonna take the flat end of your cork and just poke a hole right in the middle of it. And kind of move it around so that there's like a nice little hole. And then you can put your paper clip aside and take your motor and find the metal rod that's sticking out the side of it and then stick that inside the hole that you just made in your cork so that it looks like this. Now we're gonna put the batteries in the battery holder. There's a diagram inside of the battery holder that will tell you which way that they go. Okay, now, now we're gonna test to make sure that the motor works with the cork in it. So you'll press the switch. Off is the circle and on is the line. So turn it to the on side. Okay, so the motor works, so we're gonna set it aside for a second. Now we're gonna grab the pool noodle. So with the pool noodle, this is gonna be the body of our robot. So grab your motor again, and then you're gonna stick the white part of the motor inside of the center of the pool noodle. You wanna make sure that the cork is not smashed into the pool noodle too much. You want it to kind of rest above it. And then you're gonna take the electrical tape and just kind of secure it in there. Um, you'll need your scissors to cut the electrical tape. And then just kind of tape it on. And then these wires are really long, so we're just gonna wrap them around and tape them so that they're not in the way. So I'm gonna get a couple pieces of tape. And then I'm gonna start wrapping my wires and then taping them. When you get to the end of the wires, you'll tape the battery holder upright to the side of it. You'll need a pretty big piece of tape. And then I would just kind of go over the top part. Make sure it's secure. And then do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, so this is what our robot looks like so far. Now we're gonna add legs to the robot. So the markers are gonna be the legs of the robot and the lids will be facing the bottom. So when you put your robot together, it'll kind of look like this. So we're gonna go ahead and tape on the markers with the electrical tape.
kind of make sure that they're even at the bottom so that they'll be able to stand on the markers. If you want, you can add another layer of tape just to make sure everything's secured on there. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, this is what our robot looks like so far. So, you also have some googly eye stickers that you can add to the side of it just to give your robot a little face. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, there's our robot. So we're done. Now it's time to test our robot. Okay, so you're gonna take the lids off of all the markers and find a piece of paper that you can set your robot on. You're gonna set it with the markers down like that. And then find your on off switch. Find us back here. You're gonna turn it around and then turn your robot on. And as the cork spins, it'll move your robot around and it'll make scribbles on your paper. That's it. <laughs>